guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to teach you all how to make cauliflower swallow just like i did the last time with the aubergine stroke eggplant swallow so it's the same method really you know with the psyllium hawks binder and yeah i'll just take you through the steps and by the way i'm using three big cauliflowers today yes because i want to make some and store in my freezer to eat in the next few days so let's get into it So, I'm cutting it into cubes because I'm going to blend it so this is what it looks like you know I rinsed it I removed the back and yeah this is what it looks like basically this is what my cauliflower looks like right now I'm just gonna blend it strain it and transfer to the pot on the fire and we take it from there so now we're just going to blend and strain our cabbage guys i have a problem i don't know where my cheesecloth strainer is so i don't even know how i'm going to do this but let's see <laughs> i'll walk my way around it this is our blended um, cauliflower guys see what i did here because i'm too lazy to look for oh it's working oh there we go great because i'm too lazy to even look for my cheese strainer i'm doing like 10 million things at once right now because i'm expecting guests tomorrow so i'm cooking guys this is working perfectly which is even better so we're just going to strain it and put it in the pots okay guys i just want to show you all that you don't even need a cheese strainer so if you don't have a cheese strainer don't stress it this works nice perfect as well you know especially if you're making it in bulk like i'm doing right now you don't need a cheese strainer strainer <laughs> this works well so there you go i'll just leave it here for one minute and yeah so this is what our strained cauliflower looks like and again just like i did the aubergine if you watch my aubergine swallow we're going to use the psyllium hogs to bind it because obviously if you carry it now you're not you won't be able to bind it no so you can be able to mold it when eating it by the way can i just say that this is gary substitute yes if you like gary eba trust me guys this tastes like eba exactly so the aubergine one i made is the amala substitute and this cauliflower one is the eba gary substitute so yeah i'm just going to leave this to heat up for a bit and then we'll add the binder this is the binder here I'm not going to add everything but i'll show you guys you just add little by little till the consistency is okay for you so yeah so let's go ahead and start adding the psyllium hox powder so like i said just little by little you can also use um, a teaspoon or a tablespoon whatever but i'm just going to use this anyway and add till the consistency is fine for you and you just be staying it you know be turning it like you do your regular swell you know your eba or whatever fufu no and by the way after making it as usual with all the veg swallows when it cools down it hardens So it won't be as soft as it looks right now. So guys, this is what our swallow looks like. Can you tell that it looks exactly like a bar? See? See? And now you can mold so i'm just going to wrap it now and show you guys how i'm going to wrap and store it so guys this is it see i'm just going to oops you can't see what i'm doing see i'll just bring the camera down and show you guys see i'm just going to pack it now and yeah it trust me it's like eba it even smells like gary i kid you not 
all right guys so this is what our swallow looks like yes trust me see how it looks like gary i'm zooming in anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up and remember to comment subscribe like and hit that notification bell if there's anything else you want me to try please write it down in the comment section thank you so much and see you all in my next video